Right, it's going to be testing my uh, whether the spindle switches on or not. Um, I've put the uh, the magic number of four in uh, for the ports and pins, which was the only thing that my head wasn't quite comprehending yesterday because it was knackered from 3D drawing, machining, and other bits and pieces. Anyway, we'll do the test probe. There's a program loaded in already. So what it should do is do the probe. I've done a new probe rather than the PCB. It's 9.93 thick. Let's do the probe on the other plate. Theory it should go back over where it came from, start up, and off we go. Smooth that out of the way. So there we are, it starts. I'm presuming if it starts, it's going to stop. I'm cutting air. I've got a 20mm offset. And the program is using a 6mm offset. So hopefully... Got the park position set up and tool change positions and and all that, so yeah. The switch is on, the ramp up time is pretty quick. I might have a look in the settings, but I think I changed it. It ramps up quite quickly, within three seconds anyway, so. And I know I've got the limits on the wrong, probably on the wrong way, they should be unlit and then lit when it hits the limit. But um, they work, so they're staying there for the time being. What are we doing? Getting there. That's for uh, holding the um, cam back suction nozzle on. When I put my uh, dust shoe on there. Very professional. Next job is to stick my little hose on there. Nice little eBay job, 10 or 11 pounds I think it was. So I shall put that on. I've got some fittings and 6 mil pipe. So I shall get that all sorted out. So yeah, cheers to help Dean. That's um, working nicely for was the magic number. Just put the four in, just double check everything else in there. And there we go. It works.